Sunday morning, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me, try that again. Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. We do not have any severe weather going on at this time. We do have plenty of weather to talk about, though. A lot of activity where it comes to showers and thunderstorms in the forecast and looking again at the possibility of even more activity coming our way as we get into the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, please keep that in mind. You may need to hop back indoors again. Remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Make certain we all stay safe out there. More weather information current conditions right here forecast for today in the red bar blue bar at the bottom forecast for later on tonight and more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go into the course of the rest of the day not seeing a lot going on right now but the chances of showers and thunderstorms will be increasing as we get into around the early portions of the afternoon and late this morning as well more chances of showers and thunderstorms along with increasing cloud cover so that may block out some of the sunshine for a little bit into parts of the area and then more chances Chances of showers and thunderstorms expected as we go into later on this afternoon and this evening. So outdoor activities, a lot of stuff going on for family picnics, gatherings, the 4th of July coming up, stuff like that. Please keep that in mind. Again, safety first. Make certain everybody knows where to go to. If you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are too close to the storm. You can get struck within that radius of the storm. And lightning from a storm can strike. 20 miles away from its parent thunderstorm so please keep that in mind let's all stay safe inside of a sturdy building is going to be the best place to be and we'll have it here at wrag.com slash weather let's take a look and see what's going on around the rest of the mid-south again for the rest of the day isolated showers and thunderstorms not out of the question through the rest of the day and into this afternoon and this evening so if you have any plans again for outdoors this is what we're going to be looking for in the possibility of more heavier amounts of rainfall with some of these storms out across the mid-south south. Temperatures by mid to late morning back into the mid to upper 70s to lower 80s. Mid to upper 80s easily by the time we hit around lunchtime today and more chances of showers and pockets of thunderstorms developing into the rest of the afternoon. So again through this afternoon into this evening outdoor activities need to plan ahead for that. Temperatures back into around the lower 90s into parts of the area and combine those temperatures with a lot more humidity and it is going to be thoroughly uncomfortable out there for doing yard work or getting some up for the 4th of July picnic outdoors whatever you've got going on take breaks get in the sunshine air conditioning do what you can to get in the shade for a while stay out of that direct sunlight because these temperatures are going to sap your strength very very easily and an extra bottle of water or two would not be such a bad idea to make certain that you stay hydrated out there and safe and keep an eye on everybody else as well just to make certain they're doing okay in that hot conditions out there throughout the rest of the afternoon and into this evening we'll see chances of showers and thunderstorms a few more act areas of activity developing into tomorrow morning and into the afternoon hours. Again, more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms out there. So expecting some very warm and muggy conditions to not only today, but throughout the next several days as well. This is going to be the forecast out there and could be some stronger thunderstorms it looks like according to this computer model run by the time we hit Monday evening around News Channel 3 at 10. So definitely a couple of days to stay tuned on to what's going on. This forecast for today is going to be frighteningly similar by the time we get done with the next several days. So if you have any plans for outdoors involving strenuous work, uh, yard work, construction work, whatever you've got going on out there, take breaks because even though the temperature is going to be in the 80s, that doesn't sound like it's going to be too bad out there, but it could be, again, a bit of a problem. Man City 2016, what's the weather like in UK? Assuming United Kingdom, uh, that carries a lot of various uh, areas. I'm not too sure I can give you the entire forecast for that. Let me concentrate on the Mid-South area for right now. East Arkansas, much of West Tennessee and Northern Mississippi. If we have time here in just a little bit, we'll get to the UK forecast, but thanks for asking. Mid to upper 80s as we head into around the rest of the forecast for Monday. And then the holiday on Tuesday. Again, unfortunately, more chances of showers and thunderstorms out there. Isolated pop-up activity in nature, developing, drifting, collapsing, regenerating, starting back over again. That's what we're going to be looking for out there for the rest of the holiday coming up. Now again, hopefully that'll be done by the time the daytime heating is over with around sunset. That's about the time the fireworks displays will begin. Some of those thunderstorms out there by about dinner time or so could linger into early evening. So that could be definitely something that could postpone, delay, or even cancel some of the fireworks displays across the Mid-South. If that does happen, keep it tuned right here and we'll keep you updated on what's going on across much of the Mid-South. Rest of the forecast, second verse, same as the first. 
song lyric, kids, ask your parents, they'll understand. We'll be seeing temperatures again back in the upper 80s to around the lower 90s. No change in the forecast. Repeat performance all the way on through. Lows in the mid to upper 70s. Straight chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way. And not much changing again anytime in the Mid-South. Good news for right now, Gulf of Mexico and into the Eastern Pacific is quiet, although we do have a bit of a disturbance right there below south central areas of Mexico. Nothing major or organized going on. Way out between at the area around Africa and into around South America, that's where we're seeing again a disturbance, a tropical wave making its way to the west-northwest, and that shows about a 40% chance of developing into something else stronger over the next several days. So stay tuned to News Channel 3. If you're heading anywhere between Miami and Boston, you need to watch this storm. Likewise, the Gulf and anywhere else into around the area, especially some of the East Coast states. According to some of the computer models, a very strong system may be winding up somewhere around Chesapeake Bay and the East Coast states within the course of the next couple of days. Since we're coming close to the 4th of July, we're taking a look at weather where the troops are, looking back toward Iraq, temperatures in the triple digits, and wow, some very hot numbers out there in the 100 and 10 to nearly 120 degree range into parts of Iraq. Afghanistan, not quite as hot, but pretty steamy up there as well with temperatures around 105 in Kandahar, 90 at Kabul, 97 in Herat, and 87 at Faizabad. Looking back toward the Korean Peninsula, temperatures a little bit more pleasant here back into the upper 70s to around the lower to mid 80s. A little bit of showers around Chunchan and some thunderstorms in Seoul and Kunsan. Temperatures in the high 80s there and also into around Guantanamo Bay. Temperatures again doing back here, going back into around the mid to upper 70s. And not much seeing in the way of fairly clear skies, but we'll be expecting more chances of rain out that direction into the next several days. We'll take a little bit look at more where, weather where the troops are coming up a little bit later on. Don't forget about our weather app, whatever platform you've got. Search WREG Weather and keep an eye on what's going on in the Mid South and my complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. Got to get back on set to do daybreak weather. Stay tuned for more with that and thanks for joining us on our complete update of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime.